All right, what's up, everyone? So today we are going to be talking about um, silos and pillar pages or whatever these people decide they want to call them this year. Um, so recently, last year, I seen that people were, were calling them pillar pages and some other fucking nonsense, but really they're just silos. Um, so silos are just a series of pages that are in one niche and that help each other rank inside of whatever niche you're in. So um, I'm gonna go through a couple examples um, and I'm gonna show you exactly how all this works. Everyone does it different and it's really just sharing the link juice. If you have shitty links pointing to your pages, well, it's not gonna be as effective, but it's, it'll, it'll still work. Um, so we'll, we'll say you do SEO services, right? Obviously, if you're doing SEO services, you probably are not even on even watching this shit. But um, so you would do like backlinks, and then you would do like keyword research. Um, alt alt tags schema. I mean, there's. There's all sorts of stuff in SEO that you really need to learn, um, but it really comes down to just building links and just writing, yeah, I'm not saying, you're writing a decent amount of content and it doesn't have to be overly valuable, it just needs to be valuable for that person who's visiting. So if, if it fucking really sucks, well, you're not going to get very high and it's not going to stay in number one, number two, number three, no matter the links that you have. It's about the traffic. So... So let's say you are doing email marketing. Uh, we'll say email marketing. We'll say email tactics. Email list building, right? <clears throat> and you, you can do this with Facebook or whatever niche you decide you want to do this in. Um. So basically, so I I pretty much use so the, these are pretty much four pages so let's let's move these around a little bit or make it easier and everyone does it there's differently not like the way i do it doesn't necessarily mean the way you gotta do it um so we got page two so okay i share everything around and what I mean by this is, let's grab the tool in here. Nope. Is it this one? No, it's page layout. Okay, so. No, it's insert. Okay, so smart. Okay, so. So basically, what I do is I run to this. I'm just gonna throw a bunch in here for now. Oh, okay, so basically, what would happen with this is I would pull this all the way down here, and we're gonna use this one, and this would link here. Okay, so base, and after that, so and I'm gonna grab my mouse real quick. Um, make this a little easier for myself. So basically, all these pages. So I have like a main resource page that, that I usually use. Um, so I have like um, how to use Instagram for, for business. Now, now obviously this, this search itself is going to take me probably about a year to do because it's really high competition. Everyone that's been there for a while I have to analyze all their links. Um, usually I don't anal analyze links on easy searches. I, I just kind of just do it. Um, but from there, <clears throat> um, I'm about to release my resource guide here in a few weeks, hopefully, maybe by the end of in October of 2018. It is almost October and a lot of stuff is about to get really pushing hard for the last couple months. But anyways, um, so, so, so basically, you you have your one resource, and then you have source two, 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible without, because I, I have like 10 pages that really intertwine together and they, and they all share each other's link tos and they go from here, they go from there. And and I just really want to share one, one concept with you. So I built a guide uh, that has a crap load of links on it that has anything from my, um, the blog posts that are relevant to that page that are, that talks about followers, that talks about leads, that talks about pretty much everything on Instagram from influencer marketing, from networking, and it, and it's, and it goes, goes off, right? Um, but every single one of them are completely different posts, uh, but it's like a resource guide. It'd be like, it'd be like the ultimate, I guess, your, so all these go out. You know what, here. Let's do this. Let me see if I can get in here and actually show you <clears throat> a real live example. As soon as my computer loads, okay, so this is actually my next blog post is going out here in a few weeks. Well, actually in about a few days. And let's go to post. <coughs> And just the way I do it is I, I usually put all the links on the bottom to say extra resources rather than do it in the post. And this way, if they do get to the bottom, they are just, okay, so stories. Obviously, my stories is locked because that is a paid um, blog post, um, which I have a ton of videos on about Instagram stories. Um, oh, yeah. This should be okay. Yeah, right here. So basically, every, every time I, I blog about something, I add it to the resource. Now, the resource is not done, obviously. Um, so I will also be putting this into my um, my guide for inside of Instagram itself. But right now, it's not in there. Um, so okay. So basically, <coughs> let's let's delete some of these freaking links here this out of the way gotta wait for it to load anyways so okay I think it froze on me no it didn't okay it did okay so we're still waiting on this and use this so Okay, there's a couple things that are not on here yet. Obviously, I'm not to change it, like build your email list. Um, so this is its own little little ordeal. You're just going to hit it, and it's going to go to a completely different page. And it's how to build your email list, right? Like, in the beginning, I wasn't even going to rank any of this stuff. Or anything, I wasn't even gonna do SEO at like all on my site. But I was like, you know what? It's still a good. It's just still a good resource. It's not loaded because I have no idea. Okay. Hmm. And let's go back. I didn't want to do that change my settings okay so let's do one I know for a fact okay so like this one Instagram promotion and generate leads uh, I haven't really messed with this one too much Instagram uh, follower to email subscriber this is very short and I I've never really shared this really never did anything with that page um, I will. Okay, so if we scroll all the way to the bottom, this just shows me, uh, really me blogging, and it shows how I generate. Thank you. I'm really thinking about how I use this formula for the opt-in, and it goes into the ad I use, how many opt-ins I got, and this is really just a pretty much a freaking case study, without even doing anything. So pretty much. And it goes from uh, generating leads on Instagram for free. So 
this goes to a completely different page. Like if we would go to this page, this is directed back here, I believe at some point, some way in some fashion. But all these pages are going to work together. Uh, this is my ebook, how to increase your followers. Uh, then I have other pages outside of these. <coughs> like my service page for Instagram marketing. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Instagram power likes. This is going to go to its own. So this goes back to where you see this Instagram ads. This goes back to the how to generate leads on Instagram, which, you know, goes to separate different places. Look at silos like funnels. So if, if you're in sales or you're in email marketing, silos are nothing but funnels. I mean, that's really what they are. They, they direct you to where you want to get the people to go. Um, so this goes to, to my Growler Follows page. I talk about a lot of different stuff on there. Uh, so there we go. Jesus. Okay. So then we go from there. I'm trying to look at everything. Okay. So as you see, this goes back to this page where it says how to generate leads. And this goes to the ebook. Uh, this DM groups. Yeah, these are DM groups. Okay, so this there's a lot of information here. And all this goes back to generating leads, growing your account. It's already on the page to grow your account. Um, how to build your first DM group. Then we go square power likes DM groups, instant leads, blog posts, and you see I, I leave my ebook. And my ebook's like nine ninety seven. Um, I'll give all my resources on everything when that resource is actually done. But then from here we go to engage your groups. So those are the DM groups, and then we have like network on the Instagram. Close some of this stuff up. Okay. So we have network on Instagram. Wait for this a little. Okay. So this grow their their email list. Now it goes back to email list. Now followers back to that page on networking and even with that being said I even take them after they talk about growing your followers I take them to a spot where it talks about networking which comes back to this page so it's a big flow how to network inside the DM on I wonder how does this go there but anyways this probably goes to a freaking video Oh yeah, that goes through a video, um, and, and then I go back to engagement groups. And then we have the resources: how to promote your blog, uh, ebook, and leads on Instagram. Then we have, and that's it. I mean, so so pretty much is this a series of. Best way to look at these freaking silos is they are nothing but sales funnels in a way, right? So this thing, like if, if you're doing email marketing, you would have a series of three to twelve day of um, of automation before you start running broadcasts. So these. These, like this is the main resource here, source one, source two, source three. All these are going to be linked together. So this is going to go down here and it's going to drop to two. Then three is going to go up to two. It's going to go up to one and it's going to go back to like the resource page. Uh, so you don't always have to have a resource page. Uh, it can actually go to like a service page. So say you had a service page and I haven't, I haven't even ranked my service page for this, but. Here, watch this. Instagram marketing service. 
So someone tried to do negative SEL to me and knock me down. But I haven't did SEL on this freaking site since like the beginning of my actual uh, page, I mean, my actual website. So it was like two years ago before I did any, anything. So it's it's pretty much right here. I've, I've already changed it for the most part. Um, so it's got a different um, H1. But from here, what, what you're going to want to do, and you'll see I do it in here. See, this is actually a service page. So this goes back to the networking. Um, I do need to start adding in uh, this page here as a direct access to come in here to get more traffic, yada, yada, right? Um, it goes to your followers and it goes to DM groups, keywords in Google. This, this goes back to my home page, which my home page has a shit load of crap on it. Watch. So, so everything is done for a reason. Like if you wanted SEO services, like like SEO is SEO, no matter the niche you're in. Everyone thinks like there's some secret strategy to do an SEO in like dental or in whatever it is that you're doing. Like um, this is going out to an actual place uh, that did a bunch of reviews. I don't usually do this, but then this goes to my real estate ex SEO expert page, which is right here. And everything is done for a reason. It's not just thrown together like, okay, let's let's see how badly my crap can rank for. Um, and I haven't touched this in like, since it was put up to, so. Um, I have been building links to my home page. And then from here, let me ask questions, blah, blah, blah. And I'll, and I'll make you read all this. But what I want to do is see my home page is direct into Instagram Power Likes. I have a review on automation and Instagram. Oh, it does go here. I didn't think it did. But these, my home page and the service page kind of share link juice in its own crazy way. And I talk about 14 email marketing mistakes, best training. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this actually goes to my course, right? No, this just goes to the free opt-in. Um, but that's really it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, so pretty much when, when you're about to create a blog series and you really want to think out your plan. Like, I really wasn't even going to really get into Instagram like this, but I ended up doing so. I had to go, oh, I had to go back over. So, if you have 10 blog, po uh, 10 blog posts about fitness, in some way they need to all work together. So, it would be okay, you know, that, uh, that fitness page would go down to here. And this one talks about diets, it talks about workouts or shoulders or whatever it is that your page is relying on. But anyways, um, so this is a lot longer video than I really expected to, to really expect to do. Um, so yeah, so it, so those are styles and pillar pages or whatever things they decide to call them, but this look as silos as sales funnels and they it all has a process so in the end they just all go together and they work together and they rank each other together and it makes your life a lot easier so if you have really high authority links coming into all those pages we'll also make all the rest rank so like for this page when this is number one all the rest of my pages are pretty much going to rank in the top five without even doing any work. Uh, but anyways, this is the end of my video. I think it's possible. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on silos. Peace.